Assemble and come, all you nations, and gather together all around. Cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Yahweh. Assemble and come, all you nations, and gather together all around. Cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Yahweh. So all the nations will gather at the end of the last seven years. And for that, let's go to Revelation 19. In verse 11, Now I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Yahweh. So Yahushua is his name. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him. The armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty Elohim, El Shaddai. And he, who, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Sovereign of Sovereigns. Going back to Yoel, it says... Cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Yahweh. Like we just saw that Mashiach will come with his heavenly army, which now will be the chosen few, because they are dressed in fine linen, as Revelation 19 says previously, before what we just read. Cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Yahweh. 